Joining me now to talk a little bit about the upcoming programs and activities virtually at the Farmington Public Library, friend of the show, Jennifer Lehigh Valley Ryan is here. Good morning. <laughs> is that my official name? Isn't it? <laughs> How'd you get a copy of my verse? Are my notes wrong? <laughs> the show prep I did all morning is wrong? Yeah, uh, maybe. Oh, maybe a little bit. All right. yeah. I'll talk to my staff about that. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to KSJE. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You bet. So the library is open. We are open. We right. Do, we do have limited hours. You're right. Um, and of course, we have online resources available all day, air day. So, exactly. Yeah. Because so. you are you are kind of requesting that folks limit their time at the library because of those limited hours and limited capacity, right? Limited capacity, limited hours, and of course the pandemic. The less time you spend right. out among other people, the less chance you have of spreading COVID nineteen. Right. So or um, contracting it, I suppose. Yeah, or too. contracting it, yes. So, so there you um, go. Yeah, and gentle reminder if you you've been vaccinated I know you've been vaccinated I have I've had my first shot okay um, you can still you, spread it you can still spread it and in that's fact the thing. you're more likely to be an asymptomatic spreader there is a great video from the Mayo Clinic on our Facebook page so if you go to facebook.com slash read Farmington there you go yes you can so. see what we're talking about there, yeah but, exactly but great but one of the things we want to talk about is if folks do need to come to the library there are still some services they can do in person at that, the library you've got computers we've got computers and that's the most common question we're getting because when we first reopened in june um we didn't have the staff to offer uh computer use of course that's the main thing people need especially if you're filing for unemployment sure um if you're registering for your covid vaccine if you haven't done that yet using our computers they are available you get one login with your library card and PIN. Right. And then um, you, you're guaranteed 30 minutes. If no one is waiting, you can get some extensions. We have had some, some people waiting um, and have not been able to offer the extensions. So gotcha. you're, but you gar least... you're guaranteed 30 minutes. Right. So you can hopefully get what you need to get done in that 30 minutes yes. without having to extend your your time without getting and it, it's all managed by the computer it's not Aaron at the Aaron or Josh at the Ranger desk who arbitrarily decide they're not walking by with stopwatches they're not no, okay, well, that's <laughs> no. we have this great system called PC reservation mm -hmm. um, if you walk in and all the computers are being used um, we'll get you signed up on PC reservation and it'll let you know when a computer which computer will be available when so right. it's basically like a virtual line yeah um, it's a fast pass there you go <laughs> like <laughs> Disney like it like it there, yes, there you are exactly. see well perfect so, and so yeah. part of that though is being able to print right right and right we talk now, about that people are trying to print tax forms we don't have the federal tax forms the government doesn't tell they just send them when they send them basically right. that's all we have but um if you uh have the document like on your smartphone or on your home computer you don't have to use your login to print okay what you can do is you can use on your smartphone it's an app called printer on um on any computer, it's if you go to our website at infoway.org, click mobile printing. And what you can do is basically send the document to our printer and then pick it up at the library within 72 hours. Oh, so there you go. Yeah. So, because so, I know there's a lot, easy of, to use, yeah. a lot of folks who have computers at home, but maybe not a printer don't at home. Don't have a printer. But they have yeah. to print something, and so this is a great way to do that. Absolutely. Yeah. And the the app called Printer On, it'll work when you're traveling. So if you're, you know, um, traveling Who's to. Who's traveling? No one's traveling. Well, we when will, you do we travel. Will soon. When you do travel. Okay. Yes. Um, you'll be able to use it. It'll tell you hotels that have the same service or, or locations where right. you can do the same service. So you can send it, you know. So instead of worrying about keeping track of a flash drive or your prints, if you're doing like a yeah. business presentation, you send it to the printer and you pick it up in 72 hours. Well, back in the olden days when we could travel, people would always wonder how to print out like a boarding pass or something. Right, yeah. And there, actually, if you go to infoway.org, click mobile printing, the first thing it says is, here's how to print a boarding pass. Well, there you go. So. See? So. But yes, you're right. Yeah. It, it is it is opening. Things are opening back up slowly but surely. Right. And so as things do open up, this is a great resource to have at the at the library. Is this relatively new or have you had this for a while? We've had it, I, gosh, maybe a year or okay. so. Um, it's one of those things that while we're trying to get a handle on it, we didn't 
we didn't really push it. Right. Um, but now that we've got a better handle on it and have tested it out and know how and know how it works, right. um, it's such a it's such a valuable resource. And um, that's a lot of people who come in to use the computer lab are coming in to print something. Sure. Um, if you have a, a smartphone, if you have pretty much any device this works and it saves the computers for you know someone who um, needs to you know it, it helps with the the virtual line right basically moves it along yeah I hear so, you. so yeah and the print is just save you put in an email address and then you walk into the the library beep bop boop put in your email address it'll pull up your print you pay for it and off you go and away you go okay yeah. So, so there's a charge, obviously, to use this. There is a chart. It's the, the char same as any prints, 10 cents for black and white per page, and then 75 cents for color. Okay. So, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Printer on. Yes. That's the name of it. Okay. Yes. I like it. Very good. Yeah. The other things I know that you're doing, of course, you're using a lot of Facebook Live and YouTube and the Zoom. Yes. Um, with all your virtual programs. And so you've kind of, the library's expanded into some of these other online platforms. Yes, it has been a learning experience. So you might notice the videos, you know, are, are vastly different. Um, but we are doing video story times. Right. So every Monday at 10 a.m., a new story is released. It's available for that week. Um, of course, we want you to, you know, log on with your child and, and read the story together yeah. as we read it. Um, and then it's posted on YouTube. So we'll do a Facebook live. We'll do a Facebook post, and then it's also posted on YouTube. You can find our Facebook page and our YouTube channel on our website at infoway.org. There's right. a big YouTube Logo. Lock and yeah, yeah, just clickety click and you're there. Um, and then we're continuing our trivia night. So that's something that we started just before the pandemic. It was going really well. And so we just changed it over to Zoom. So I, I know there's a lot of Zoom fatigue, but this is fun Zoom. So yes, it's right. it's competitive trivia, different um Different topics every month. You could show month. off all your cool Zoom backgrounds. Yes. With yeah. these, right? So yeah. So that. like if you're joining the Game of Thrones trivia, oh, right. you can have a Game of Thrones Zoom background. Wouldn't that be fun? Exactly. Yeah. So, um, so we'll a lot of our that. programs for families we're doing... Uh, we're doing on Zoom, so right. And then uh, last week for Read Across America, right? We tried out Facebook Live, and that went really well. That nice. was a lot of fun. Yeah, Very I, cool. I brought in my dog. I read Go Dog Go. Um, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Edith did not. Edith, your dog, did not look too interested in the story. She was more interested in like what was going on in the other parts of the room. It looked like there was a lot going on. Yeah. And she is, you know, not a smart dog. Well. When we. <laughs> We, she's pretty. We, she's pretty. Yes. yes. So when we when we read at home, <laughs> yes, and there's just me, a book, and some treats. She's very into well, it. Well, that would do it. That <laughs> surely would do it. I understand. But. So we all we all took a turn. We did Facebook Live. It um, went really well. And then those videos, we um, you know, are still on our our Facebook page. They were on you can our. Check, Facebook you can watch page Edith weekend. listen to the story. Yes. She's it's still there. So. <laughs> very, very good. And that is, again, the uh, every week you have a new story. Have a new story because early childhood literacy is so important. We know um, with the schools having been out, you know, and doing it virtually, kids are falling behind. And those fourth grade reading skills for New Mexico are just, they're not good, right. we'll say. Um, so, so this, this could help. This is gun. This is definitely going to help. Yeah, um, we follow the Every Child Ready to Read model, which is getting pre-kindergarten kids ready to learn the skills they need for learning to read in kindergarten when they in get kindergarten. There. So yeah, when, they, when get, they get to kindergarten. Yeah, so perfect. yeah, that's great. So right now we're doing it with you know with videos. Mm -hmm. um, we hope to you know go back to in-person programming. Um, because that that one to one interaction is is so important. So I encourage you to you know read a book with your child, um, and watch the story times with your child. So, right. Yeah. Which are great. And I know you put a lot of work into those story times because you know in addition to reading the stories, you're also showing us the illustrations, and f we can follow along at home and and check them all out if you don't have the book at home to to look at while you're reading. Right. So, yeah. 
so it's it it is a lot of work but it's so worth it when we can get those those reading skills up in sure. our community that's just it's so imperative yeah no so, that's great yeah and every monday a new story every monday a new story it runs for a week so okay. um and then we we have to take it down every monday because of licensing the publishers Copyright, they give us a week all that stuff yeah i understand yeah so I hear you, but that but yeah. it's up there. There you go, everybody. There and the stories are suitable for all ages and all you know, ages. They're, There's they're a, great. They're a lot of fun. Um, and then we have our take and make craft bags, yes. which are also for all ages. Nice. We have a kid appropriate one over at the youth services desk right. every Tuesday. It's a new one. Every single Tuesday. Every single Tuesday. Okay. And then every other Tuesday. Um, we have one that's appropriate for teens and adults. Gotcha. So, um, and they usually include most of the materials that you would need for these crafts. The right. The bags, right? The craft right. bags. Right. So um, last week we had the, the string art. Um, and right in the video we say, you need a hammer. So, um, so but we're not giving away bags of hammers. We're not giving away bags of hammers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're just, you know, yeah. <laughs> shooting them out there with a the t-shirt cannon. You no, know? <laughs> let's not do that. I don't think that would go well, but yeah. No. But the so, string I bet you gave away. Yes. The See? string and the nails and the, and the wooden board to, to there nail you go. it to. And if you miss out on the craft bag, you can always catch up on the how to video. Um, and like, for my hot dog pillowcase one, I told you how to buy the the supplies. You're making pillowcases out of hot dogs. I am not. Oh, okay. It's a it's a fun <laughs> fancy sewing technique. I see. That um, it's three seams and you make a pillowcase. Okay. It's cr it's yeah, and you have to watch the video to see why it's called a hot dog pillowcase for it to obviously, make sense. Obviously, obviously. Yes. So um, if you miss the craft bag, you can still watch the video and get some great ideas. And then remember, we've got Creative Bug. Which right, is that online resource. An online resource, which is free with your library card. Um, you can pay for a subscription or you can get it for free through the library. So right. that's totally your choice. Right. But it's the same thing, right? Same content. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just saying. So I would say get right. the free one. Spend your <laughs> money the on the craft supplies. On the craft supplies, yes. And there's some great videos on there. I did a um, pie carrier. Right. Um, that I learned off of Creative Bug. Again, I believe it was that like, was a holiday gift. It was a holiday gift. Three seams and I was done. Look at that. So, so if you are a sewist, there's a lot of great sewing ideas. If right. you don't know how to sew, there's tutorials on how to start sewing. There's tutorials on um, how to use your Cricut. Um, if you have one of those, there's tutorials on like cupcake decorating and cake decorating. And it just... It, Anything and everything. It's cool. all on there on Creative Bug. It's amazing. And do some of these craft bag ideas come from Creative Bug or are they different? They do. Okay. Yes. Um, so that's your inspiration. Right. For these yeah. projects, right? Yeah. So I had been watching the the um, pie carrier one and mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well, this is on Creative Bug, but I know a nifty sewing trick to do this hot dog pillowcase. So that's why I did the, the video. Right. Because that's not on Creative Bug, but you know, if, if you like the, the pie carrier, you can do the hot dog pillowcase or vice versa there you go so yeah if if you are sick of sewing masks <laughs> right something a little different some of us needed a little break <laughs> that's true <laughs> yes but as you're saying these are again there's craft ideas for younger kids every tuesday every tuesday so you pick up your, at the your craft bag desk. yeah and then every other tuesday for teens and adults correct Got yes it. so check every tuesday at um, the youth services desk, and if you're there, check it at the youth services desk. See if there's anything. There you go. Yeah. And you have them, I guess, just while supplies last, right? While when, supplies last. When they're last. gone, they're gone. Yeah. So exactly. maybe if you wait till Wednesday, you may yeah. be out of luck. Yeah. Apparently, the hot dog pillowcase did not make it into the second week. Sometimes they sometimes oh. they make it into the second week. Sometimes they don't. Gotcha. Well, so, yeah. High demand. Yeah. Well, free fabric, you know. That'll do it too. For for sewists, yeah. that's a big deal. I think so. That'd be a big deal. That's that's very true. Yes. Very true. Yeah. Well, some other uh, events that you have coming up that we want to talk about. Um, virtual events. I know you've done this in the past, and I think it's been really popular. These genealogy events, right? Where Which folks is are why we're doing another one, March eighteenth. Family history stuff, right? Family history stuff. Megan Bennett, uh, one of our librarians, she is um, just a guru on this. Knows all the free resources. We have a couple of resources, including the library edition of Ancestry.com. Right. Um, sh if you have a personal subscription 
to Ancestry.com, which d offers more. Mm -hmm. it, it Different than Creative Bug. Creative Bug, if you don't pay for it, you get the same. Right. Ancestry, if you use the library edition, um, you don't get as much as if you pay for. A little bit different levels, L I guess, Different right? levels. Yeah. And you can't use it outside of the library. Right. But I guess if you were thinking about maybe buying an Ancestry.com membership, try it you out want to try it out first to see yeah. a little bit of what you get, Yeah, that's a great way to test it out. Absolutely. See? And then Megan will teach you how to get the most out of it. She right. can teach you some tips and tricks how to get the most. There's some free, she know, um, can teach you how to search the free database from Ellis Island. Right. Um, and a lot of public records available. A lot of but, public records available. But sometimes it can seem like a rabbit hole and you're just going from search to search and not really finding what you want. Oh, and it's I bet always a rabbit hole. You can help maybe <laughs> narrow down those those searches to, so yes. you're spending your time more productively. Yes. So if you go to infoway.org right now, right now, click on the library events right. calendar. Okay. Click on the um, actual event for the virtual genealogy workshop. March 18th. March 18th. Click on that. You can register, and then you can tell Megan what you want to know, and she can tailor the workshop Look at that. specifically for what you want to know. Nice. So registration isn't required, but it's highly recommended, so that way she can plan, and if you're asking a question that she may not be as, uh, about something that she may not be as familiar with, right. she has time to you know delve into it nice. and, and help you. So okay. she's amazing at these genealogy things. Right. So That's awesome. She's and a so, great resource. Right. For our radio audience, 6 o'clock, Thursday, March 18th. Yes. By Zoom. And again, you can get the link if you go to infoway.org, which is the library's website, and get signed up to join and then get all the details right. about so, that event coming up. Yeah. It is a virtual genealogy workshop. Yes. Coming up from the library. Now, you mentioned this earlier, Game of Thrones trivia. Game of Thrones. Wow. Look at that. On so, March 25th. Get your Zoom Game of Thrones background ready. Yes. <laughs> You're sitting on the Iron Throne. Right. So, or dragon over your shoulder, whatever. Yeah, dragon over your shoulder. Whatever. You know, you know, get out your pet dragon. Happens. <laughs> or your dog in a dragon costume, as I would do. Right. So um, Thursday, March 25th, you can participate in our Game of Thrones trivia night. So if you've watched every episode forwards, backwards, and upside down, you might have a chance. There you go. So there's hard questions, there's easy questions, and it's open to everyone. You can compete as a team. You can compete as an individual. It's uh, pretty open-ended. So. And do you have some prizes? Oh, of course. Okay, yes. just checking. Fabulous prizes. Fabulous. Yeah, not nice. the Iron Throne. No, <laughs> not that. <laughs> you cannot win the Iron Throne during Game of Thrones trivia. Well, spoiler alert, didn't it get melted? Oh, did it? Oh, it did, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> anyway. anyway. That was a, that was pre-pandemic. I don't remember I what understand. life was like before. <laughs> right. I hear you. I understand. But anyway, trivia night. And you're doing these almost every month, aren't you doing We're a trivia doing two event? Month, yeah. So it's, okay. it's, it's like every other week. That's right. So, so yeah. Thursday, March 25th at uh, 6 o'clock, the Game of Thrones trivia night. Yes. So. And you've had some yeah. pretty popular ones, I think, in the oh, past, right? Oh, we have, yeah. Um, Megan, again, bringing up Megan. Right. She has done, like, every version of Star Trek, just about. Nice. And she gets, like, really into this Star Wars. In fact, I think she's got a Star Wars prequels one coming up um, April or May. Okay. I believe, yeah, so... So stay tuned. Watch the prequels. Everybody, that's true. Yes. Very, so. very true. Um, the next trivia night on April 8th, is at 6 p.m., and that's Books to Movies. Think Real Readers. Uh-huh. Um, a program that will come back right. after, the, when after, we can. after the public health order. Um, so Real Readers was where you would read the book, watch the movie. Right. So basically all these questions are going to be books that were turned into movies. Got it. So, And I, I think you'll be – this one's going to be a tough one because I think you're going to be surprised at the sheer amount – Oh, yeah. Of movies that you didn't know were previously books. Right. It happens to me all the time, and I work at a library. So I'm like, that was a book? What? Right. So um, it could pretty much be anything. That's just about. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> That's true. Any book that has been turned into a movie. So wow. good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> But that'll be Thursday night, April 8th, 6 o'clock. You can get the link by clicking on, uh, go into infoway.org, click on library events, click on the event. There you go. 
set. And you'll be all set to go. And again, you can compete individually or with a team. With a team. Yeah. This one, you might want a team. Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's a pretty broad category. So It's, it's going to be hard. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. And so they divvy up the trivia nights into different um, categories. Right. So like, and I don't know what the categories are. So like Game of Thrones could be, you know, questions about House Targaryen, questions about, you know, Peter Dinklage, questions about, you know. So right. this could be, you know, children's movies, action movies, this, you know. Right. Um, yeah. I hear you. Okay. So, I will give you one answer, though. Okay. The book was better. Always? <laughs> Always. Always. Always and forever. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> yes. I understand. So. I understand. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> Got it. Very good. Okay. Um, so the other things coming up, let's take a look. Um, this is the uh, Dinner, Drinks, and Death. The third installment. Wow. The so, third. A little while ago, did you see the Saturday Night Live with the, the um, song about uh, true crime they right. for their boyfriend to leave. Right. Yes. So um, that's a thing. Apparently. <laughs> yes. Apparently. So, um, so we're going to You guys were ahead of the curve before SNL picked it up because you've been doing this now. Uh, this the third it's, one. It's Amanda and Kristen. Okay. They are trendsetters. They are, indeed. <laughs> so How they about are, that? They are really into it. It concerns me every once in a while. Right. But, you know, I did just watch... Um, Oh, what was the one about the Cecil Hotel on Netflix? Oh. Yeah. So, um, very mysterious. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, so this is an event. Again, radio audience, we can't see the, the graphic that you've built. That's right. The tombstone in the wine glass. Yes. Um, <laughs> this is on Wednesday, April 14th. Uh, again, talking a discussion, not a trivia, but a, a, dis a discussion. discussion about yes. these true crime uh, movies TV shows, whatever, right? Yes. Yeah. So books, books, of course. Oh yeah, we books. Have, well, I know, crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. yes, there are a lot of a lot. We have a whole big true crime in the nonfiction section. Yeah. Um, and basically, it's it's open topic. Okay. So think of it as getting together with your friends, and one says, "Oh, did you see that documentary about the Cecil Hotel?" And then. But it goes from there. Everybody yeah. just chimes in. Yeah. So, um, and because we're doing it on Zoom, one of the popular things about book groups right. is um, having a glass of wine sure. <laughs> with, with your book group, which, of course, we can't do if the book group is meeting at the library. That's right. But, but at if home, we're meeting in Zoom, it's, it's your call. There you go. <laughs> there you are. Responsible. Yes. <laughs> But you're already at home, so yes. There. So some sometimes you need that to help with the discussions, so, right? Yes, and so. maybe it's wine, maybe it's just some apple juice and a stemware glass. It could be Mountain Dew, whatever you want. There you are. Yeah, perfect. So, <laughs> so that's coming up. That's April fourteenth. Yes, and Triple again, D. All of these um, events are on the library's website events calendar. Yes. So, so if you go to infoway.org and just yeah. click events calendar, it's up there toward the top of the page. You can find it pretty easily. There you go. So. Very good. And so, again, these are the major events you've got planned at the library, of course, for over the next few few weeks. But yes. But there's always stuff that you're adding to the calendar. We're adding stuff all the time. And right now we're working on summer reading. Okay. Um, we think we will be having some in-person programming outside. Right. This As summer. As things warm up and open up. That'd yes. be great. Yes. Yes. So yeah. it, it kind of depends, but um, you can register and start logging your books May 1st. Okay. The theme is Tales and Tales, T-A-I-L-S. Oh, how and clever. T-A-L-E-S. That's the national program. We didn't come up with that. Oh, okay. But it is pretty clever, nice. isn't it? Yeah. So. I yeah. predict more uh, videos with dogs. <laughs> It's what I can see coming. Well, not until you mentioned it, but no. well, <laughs> now that you mention it, yes. <laughs> okay, here you go. I will find a way to work my dog in. <laughs> see, there you are. But Perfect. <laughs> yes. But that's what's coming. And, of course, uh, we're all excited that as Farmington and San Juan County have reached stage um, yellow. Yellow, yes. More things are able to reopen, indoor right. dining at certain capacities. And so as we get, hopefully, to green and turquoise, mm -hmm. that then sets the stage for more things to reopen and more gatherings um, indoors and outdoors so absolutely you'll be we following whatever those are right and we know everybody's tired of it but if we just keep going keep doing what we're doing keep your cooties to yourself right we can get there so right 
And um, we are, and we're heading in the right direction. We so. are absolutely heading in the right direction. Let's keep going in that direction. I, we're, we're all tired. We're all frustrated. We are all burnt out. Um, our, you know, our staff, y you can tell we're tired. So if you do come to the library, a little kindness is appreciated. Sure. <laughs> so we don't like wearing the masks either, but it's necessary to get to that next level. That's true. So, and yeah. of course, masks are required at the library. Library. Masks are required. Properly worn masks That's are required key. at the library. That is the key. So Nose this and mouth. isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. Yeah. <laughs> Cover your nose and mouth. Cover your nose and mouth. There you go. Wash your hands. Okay. Yeah. Well, Jaylee, it's always a pleasure to have you here. To always talk a about pleasure to come in here. All the things that are going on at the <laughs> library, even virtually. There's still yes. a lot that, that's going on. I know folks really appreciate, I think, all the things you guys have been offering, even in the reduced capacity, to be able to at least have some extra stuff going on and happening during this whole time. So thank you. Just a reminder, we strongly encourage you to use our online resources at infoway.org. It'll save you a, a trip into the library. And anytime you can stay home, it's going to help us move in the right direction. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Well, infoway.org is the place to go to answer all your questions and see all the things that are coming up from the Farmington Public Library. So thanks for coming in. Thank you. You're welcome. That is Jenny Lee Ryan from the Farmington Public Library, my guest this morning here on KSJE.